Jones Bones, it is your girl United Lee Random, and today we are starting the new series. For those who don't know, we are starting a new series called What Would Lori Do? This is a series in which I react to Am I the A Hole Reddit posts, and then I would talk about, after I read those Reddit posts, if my hypothetical in laws or hypothetical ex in laws would react similarly, or how I think they would react in that situation. So, if you are interested or you enjoy Am I the A-Hole Reddit posts, uh, I know I do, please stick around. And if this isn't the video for you, you are welcome to check out any of my other content. I post a lot of content about my healing journey and becoming a better person, and I just thought that this would be a fun way to continue in a way being reflective, but you know, taking it away from my inner pain. We know <laughs> Leah at this point. And if you don't know, <laughs> look at the videos <laughs> on my channel. <laughs> now you know it. Um, and so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. It was at this moment that he knew. He was dumb. So today, I have a couple of Am I the A-Hole posts, but I'm going to start off with just one for each video. Try to keep it like an episode by episode thing so it can be short. Would I be the A-Hole for trying to stop my brother's wedding? And it starts off by saying, throw away for obvious reasons. My brother is getting married to his childhood sweetheart soon. I didn't like the whole idea of the wedding because they're practically still kids and it would be dumb for them to get married so young. Our parents, ours and hers, are pretty pissed about it too, but going along with it anyways because they are worried they might just elope and go to NC otherwise. I don't know, North Carolina? I don't know, what else is NC? North Carolina, probably. Also, I'm in love with his fiance. We all sort of grew up together, neighbors for five years when we were teens, parents, close friends now, etc. And she's always had a big crush on me, but I ignored it because she was a kid and really annoying. But her and my brother were always best friends because they were the same age. We had a bit of a thing when we were like 18, 16, but again, I thought she was too young and also I was dealing with a lot of personal crap at the time. So I ended up pushing her away and making her think I didn't want her because I didn't want to hurt her worse in the long run, even though I kind of did start to really like her. I guess I thought she'd just be there when I was ready or something because she'd always been so obsessed with me. Six months later. Cue my freaking brother riding in on his white horse when I broke things off with her and them getting together, which was always his game plan, I think. FF, four years, and apparently they're getting married. Oh, FF means fast forward. I'm new to this, I'm new to this, not true to this. Um, fast forward, uh, four years, and they're getting married. She's more religious than us, and they've always done a purity ring. BS. So obviously my brother just got, got bored of waiting and wants to get married now so he can get laid. I don't think he's good enough for her and I never did, especially in light of what I know now. What happened? Anyway, my brother got really drunk on the other night and told me that when they broke up for a while, I don't know why they broke up, but I remember he was really cut up about it. Last year, he someone else just before they ended up getting back together and he was going on to me going on to me about how bad he felt about it and how he didn't know how she was going to take him back when he did it and he wished he hadn't whatever uh, and then he calls him a penal <laughs> I don't think she knows what he did and I don't think she would marry him if she knew he'd gone and cheated on her when they were broken up gonna shut up because I got things to say especially if they were doing the whole no before marriage would I be the a-hole if I told her what he did and told her how I really feel about her and maybe stop the wedding 
I think she is my soulmate, and deep down, she probably wants to be with me too. She just doesn't know I'm in love with her. Still, an option, or that he just a cheat. If I love her too, I should tell her, right? She might want to be with me instead. This is messy. What's up, Jones Bones? Make sure you like and subscribe down below. Like and subscribe, don't you know? Like and subscribe down below. Like and subscribe, don't you know? Bye-bye. This is messy. This is messy. Now, in this case, Lori is a woman, so I'm going to think of Lori as like... I'm going to have to change. Lori is now... London, okay? So we got Lori in London, okay? <laughs> so London, 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 okay? So I'm reading about what London just said. And a couple things had me like flabbergasted. A couple things had me like, mm, this is messy. Walk away, walk away, walk away. Um, the brother getting married to his childhood sweetheart. That's sweet, that's cute. You dated her before? And your brother knew it? So, was there not like a conversation? Like, I feel like I'm missing information. Did you, like, when your brother started dating your ex, was it like, oh yeah, I'm dating your ex now? Was that even a conversation? Are you cool with it? And you were like, yeah, I'm fine. And now she's about to get married and you switching it up? Like, there's a lot of question marks that aren't being answered, but what I call you, Landon? Landon, listen, listen, Landon, listen, Landon. You are the a-hole, but we already know you're the a-hole. On another note, what would Landon do? Okay, Landon, 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 what would you do? I think this is in line to the pathologies of my hypothetical ex-in-laws. Yes, I can see it very clearly. And in this case, it's trying to stop a wedding because you feel like they're not old enough for a wedding when reality is people can make their own decisions, right, right? And the decision can be bad or it can be good. But the reality is that's not you, right? I don't think I'd ever be in a position as someone who is not the direct parents of this person to try to tell someone that they could and could not get married, okay? And um, my hypothetical in-laws didn't really, didn't really have a, in my hypothetical situation, didn't have an opportunity to tell me hypothetically not to get married. <laughs> you get it, hypothetically. Uh, it was just something that me and my hypothetical ex-husband just hypothetically did, hypothetically. <laughs> <laughs> you get it, you get it, you get it. So it was kind of like showed up and bada boom, bada bang, this is my wife. And I know that in that situation, my hypothetical in-laws were not too happy about it. There was some talk about me hypothetically, really hypothetically being a gold digger. And so it's very interesting to see this on the stream because it's not even a situation of like, I'm really concerned. Like the parents can be concerned about it, right? The parents can say, oh, I'm really concerned about this situation. And honestly, if I think about it, my hypothetical in-laws are a little bit better than this guy right here because my hypothetical in-laws were more so concerned about the future of my hypothetical ex-husband. In this case, there's too much, there's too much in the pot, okay? And the pot is, the pot, the pot, the pot, the pot is thick, okay? We've done boiled it down to the reality of, the reality is, Landon is still in love with his ex-girlfriend, okay? That's the reality. And so this is very much tempering, this is very much tempering this situation. At the end of the day, I think that um, if, if Lori, was in this situation or Landon was in this situation, it would go about the same way. We got to work on this. Okay. This was the first one. This is the first one. What would Lori do? Okay. At the end of the day, um, yes, this person was the a-hole. Uh, I think that if it was someone else, the thing is you too deep, too deep in the fire. Okay. 
he's not giving this relationship a chance, okay? Because he's stuck in his way. And in this situation, he's stuck in his way of being in love with this person. And if I were to say, like, put it to my situation with my hypothetical in-laws, I believe that that hypothetical in-law would be uh, too deep in the, into the nick of it, too deep in the situation where they can't look at things objectively because they think that they know the situation and therefore the situation can't be something else than what they've already determined the situation was, okay? Narrow-minded in both cases. Narrow-minded in this guy that is the a-hole, narrow-minded Landon, narrow-minded Lori. That's just the reality. And let me know how you feel about that story down below. Because at this point, I have taken up at least 10 minutes of your time. Okay? It's wild. Wow, wow, wild thoughts. So let me know if you feel that they're the a-hole. Wow, wild thoughts. Because I feel like they are. But it's just because they're too close to the situation. If, if there wasn't this closeness, right? If there's this knowledge, if there was this deeper understanding of it being that they could be very much in love and da, 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 and you're not attached to that situation that deeply then okay you might not be the a-hole so in the case of my hypothetical ex in-law um lori i think that lori was less of an a-hole because there was less of concern if Lori wasn't in love with my husband. But I did recognize that there was a controlling issue of you can't choose your own relationship, which caused problems for a hypothetical relationship later on. Because in my head, Lori had a image of the hypothetical me that was completely inaccurate. Like, I, I wasn't the best, but I wasn't the worst. And in that situation, my hypothetical in-law saw me as the worst, and I could not change that reality. And it would show at different times that made it a very unsafe for someone who is trying to be on her healing journey. As you guys can see, hypothetically on my channel, I too have been going through <laughs> a healing journey, okay? Um... So I want to thank you for liking this video. Um, share it if you think that someone will enjoy the rambles of ADHD unitedly random. Um, make sure you like and leave comments down below because we're trying to get to 7,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Again, 7,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I know we can do it. Much love and positive vibes and I will see you next time.